بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين مع دير فيورز الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In today's episode in this program of the parables of Al-Quran we are going to take from verse number 11 till verse number 15 of Surah Al-Hashr which is 59th Surah of Al-Quran and uh, this parable which is given here that is uh, number 54 in this program. Now Surah Al-Hashr speaks about uh, a Jewish tribe living in al Madina, which is Banu al nadir There were three tribes living in al Madina: Banu Qaynuqa, Banu Nadir, and Banu Quraiza. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came to al Madina, the first thing he did, he made a, a, a pact of allegiance with these uh, three tribes of the Jews living in Medina at that time, that they would be supporting each other, they would be allies to each other. If Medina is attacked by any external force, the Jews of Al-Madina are going to be with the Prophet wasallam, combating the enemy. That was uh, the understanding and that was the pact. But what happened was totally opposite. In the beginning, and that is just after uh, the Battle of Badr, which was fought in the second year of Hijra, the first tribe, which is Banu Qaynuqa, they betrayed the Prophet ﷺ. And because of their betrayal, they were asked to leave al Madina, or you can say they were expelled from Madina. And it was a great uh, sign of mercy from the Prophet ﷺ that they were not punished in, uh, physically, but they were just told to take their belongings, everything which they have got, and leave Medina. So they went from Medina and they got settled down in Khaybar and uh, other places in Syria. Now, after the Battle of Uhud, which was fought in third year of Hijra, it was uh, supposed that Banu Nadir, the second tribe, is going to help the Prophet wasallam, but that help never came. So this is why after the battle was over, the Prophet wasallam besieged the tribe of Banu Nadir and their dwelling. Actually, he went there to ask their assistance in paying the blood money for two persons who were killed by mistake by a Muslim warrior. So the Prophet ﷺ went there because of that alliance to get assistance from them. And what happened when Prophet ﷺ was just resting beside a wall of some of their fortress, they planned to throw a stone, a rock on, on the Prophet ﷺ to kill him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet their planning. So Prophet simply stood up and slipped away to al Madina. And later, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam joined him and then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked the companions to go back to Banu Nadir and besiege them. And after besieging them for a few days and nights, Again, they were told to leave al Madina, and this is how they were expelled from Madina, and they, in their turn, settled down in Khaybar and in Syria as well. So the story which is given here, that is about Banu Nadir, and uh, how the hypocrites of al Madina were joining hand with them, trying to help them. And in the end comes this uh, this ayah, which is ayah number 15. كَمَثَلِ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ قَرِيبًا ذَاقُوا وَبَالَ أَمْرِهِمْ Their matter is just like, like those who lately preceded them. They have tasted the evil result of their conduct. And 
in the hereafter there is for them a grievous penalty. So this uh, this similitude, or you can say the resemblance which is shown here, is between Banu Nadir and what happened to the people preceding them, before them, and they were Banu Qanuqa. Now let us take ayat uh, concerning this passage. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ألم تر إلى الذين نافقوا يقولون لإخوانهم الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب لئن أخرجتم لنخرجن معكم ولا نطيع فيكم أحدا أبدا وإن قتلتم لننصرنكم والله يشهد إنهم لكاذبون Did not you see those hypocrites saying to their brothers, "Alladina kafaru," those who have committed infidelity, min ahlil kitab, from among the people of the book. They are saying to them, "If you are expelled, we are going to come out with you, and we are not going to obey anyone, anyone's commandments concerning you." Wa in kuchil tum lanan swarna kum. And if you have been fought, we are going to help you. Wallahu yashhadu innahum lakadibun, and Allah is a witness that they are liars. La in ukhrijoo la yakhrijoon maahum, wa la in qutilu la yansurunahum, wa la in nasaruhum la yuwalun al adbar, summa la yunsarun. Even if they were expelled, they are not going to come out with them. Even if they are fought, they are not going to help them. Even if they help them, they will turn their backs upon them. Thumma la yunsarun, and then they would be helpless. No help would come to them. La antum mashad rahbatan fi sudurihim min Allah. ذلك بأنهم قوم لا يفقهون. Why? Why is that the case? Of a truth, you are stronger than they. Because of the terror in their hearts, sent by Allah, this is because they are men devoid of understanding. After that, the description of those uh, Jews in Al Madina: لا يقاتلونكم جميعا إلا في قرى محصنة أو من وراء جدر. بعضهم بينهم شديد. تحسبهم جميعا وقلوبهم شطا ذلك بأنهم قوم لا يأكلون. They are not going to fight you together, except if they are in their fortified townships, أو من وراء جدر or from beyond the walls. بأسهم بينهم شديد. Strong is their fighting spirit among themselves. تحسبهم جميعا وقلوبهم شتى. You think that they are together, but actually their hearts are divided. ذلك بأنهم قوم لا يأكلون. This is because they are a people who are devoid of wisdom. Here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala when He describes those people, those Jews of Al Madina, see. How truly is their picture depicted? They are not going to fight you in an open fight, except if uh, they are in their fortified townships. If they are in inside their forts, or from beyond the wall, or from beyond the wall, they will take uh, the walls as their shield. And sometimes I wonder that this word means "wara i judur," judur, which is the plural of "jidar." Jidar means wall. That uh, how such a description, which is given in Al Quran fourteen hundred years ago, that still stands. That still stands. Uh, what I mean is the wall, the wall which uh, which is erected by the Jews. In uh, in Palestine, just to to save them or shield them from Palestinians, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala knows better that 
this thing applies to their state of mind and state of situation now or not. Ba'suhum bainahum shadid. And it is also true what is said here that they themselves, it is, it seems that they are united, but they don't disagree with each other among themselves. There are many, many factions among themselves and they always uh, waging war at each other. They don't uh, agree with each other and that is, uh, that is a reality. Why? Because they are the people who are devoid of wisdom, who are not using their intellect after leaving uh, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course. No intellect is left with them. And then comes this ayah number 15, min qablihim qariban amrihim. Their example, the example of Banu Nadir, is just like the example of the people before them who have tasted, who have tasted dhaqu wabala amrihim, the result of their conduct. Because Banu Qainuqa, they betrayed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and because of that betrayal, they have been expelled from al Madina. So this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has uh, mentioned about, about this resemblance between the case of Banu Nadir and the case of uh, Banu Qainuqa. And in the end it says, وَلَهُمْ عَضَابٌ عَلِيمٌ And for them is a very, very great punishment, a very severe punishment. Now, Banu Qainuqa, they were uh, the tribe of uh, famous Jews like uh, Abdullah ibn Salam who became Muslim and uh, they were also known as Banu Haritha. They were the people who were living in Medina and uh, they were also dealing in gold. So this is why they were known to be a goldsmith tribe. And it is said that uh, uh, once a Muslim woman who was in the market with them and that Muslim woman was, treat, was treated badly by these people and she was actually disgraced and because of that disgrace which happened to her other Muslims came out and uh, there was a big row between the Muslims and the Jews. So that was uh, the first incident which happened in Al-Madina between the Jews and, and the Muslims and this is why, why Later, they were expelled from al Madina, And as I said in the beginning, then comes the case of Banu Nadir. And uh, they did the same thing. And this is why they have to be expelled from Medina as well. So, that is the similarity between the two cases, which is mentioned here. alim. وصلى الله تعالى على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته